Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for season two of The Bad Batch. We are finally going to be checking in on Clone Force 99 after the they narrowly escaped the destruction of the cloning facilities on Kamino. And I'm really curious to see after where we left the team at the end of the last season, what trajectory they're, they're going to be going on. We kind of have like a an arc kind of set up with, you know, Rex and everybody just kind of be like, hey, there's this thing going on in the world. Uh, you can't really ignore it for long. We'd really use your help. I feel like they're going to get sucked into that no matter what. That seems like the direction a lot of this is probably going to be going, but who knows? But that said, I love what this first season did with expanding the small little ways that the Empire is kind of like getting its fingers into pretty much just everything in the galaxy. And like these little ways that they built out the world more and shown us some sides of Star Wars that we didn't really get elsewhere. And I really like that, especially after Bad Batch and now Andor, I'm even more excited to continue that expansion in this season because I think Bad Batch was the first one to really kick that off. And then Andor really took the ball with that and ran and expanding the immersion of this galaxy and just kind of what all shenanigans the team gets into in the in-between. With that said, guys, let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full-length reaction of this season or any of the previous ones, you can check those out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time code to see my reaction to the entire episode. You also get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We've got monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage. You're trying to make it worth your while since you are going to way support the channel, but of course, I know I'm going to do that. And simply simple way can out is subscribing if you're not already and hitting that like button if you enjoy the reaction. With that all said and out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into episode one of our two-part premiere. Here we go. Spoils of War. <laughs> yeah, we saw some glimpses of this in the trailer. Now's not the time. Oh. Uh. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. She's gotten real good with that thing, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where are you? Why is Omega hanging off the ship? <laughs> Damn, man. Look at her go. This is a very Pirates of the Caribbean kind of opening, though. Almost even with the music, kind of, too. Appreciate the backup. But try staying inside the ship next time. I'll try. But it was still pretty fun. <laughs> well, well, well. The space slugs decided to finally show up. So, this is the top team you've been talking about. The rogue clones on the run from the Empire, huh? Don't get twitchy. She's a friend. She's the most trustworthy pirate I know. Is that supposed to be comforting? <laughs> Aren't clones supposed to look alike? So much for quality control. This one's too big. This one's too small. This one's got a face tattoo. <laughs> They're real subtle. Uh, hey now. Got a name, brown eyes. Tech. That's it. That intel's not free. I expect a cut if your top team comes through. What is she talking about? Your next mission. That is Castle Sereno, the former home of Count Dooku. What? Who's that? A Jedi who betrayed the Republic. A 
let the separatists there are they gonna raid his castle yep the empire's already started pillaging his palace I'm surprised they hadn't already at this point Ooh, what secrets they're there you want that war chest you go after it between tales of the Jedi and then uh I finished Je uh Dooku Jedi lost Lambda or Delta Ooh. Lambda class very good. can't wait I'm in too good then we're all in agreement now all we gotta do is convince Dark and Brody convince me about what oh, we took a vote and we want to go after the war chest it's unanimous even Killjoy over here agreed <laughs> Sereno is Imperial occupied. We've stayed off the Empire's radar since Camino. What chance it now? Because the contents of just one of those containers would be worth more than all the jobs you pulled for me combined. You want to really be free? Then pull off this heist and you'll have the means to disappear. No more risky missions. No more living hand to mouth. You can have a future. Isn't that what you're after? Hmm. I like that pan over to Omega because he's just like, I mean, that's kind of the whole thing, right? So she doesn't have to run anymore. He's safe and maybe live. I know why you agreed to this mission, but we can do better things with Dooku's fortune than hide, Hunter. With what we're up against, we have to be prepared to fight. That's not the kind of life this kid deserves. Mm. Our lives are like this because of Omega. Uh, Taking off Camino was the right thing to do, but there are others out there who need our help. We've seen what the Empire's doing throughout the galaxy. We okay. should be doing more. Okay, I thought he meant something else. I agree with what he said. <laughs> But also know where Hunter's coming from too, though. That's the city. Wow. What happened to it? Imperial orbital bombardment. Wow. God damn. Chest off world. Our window of opportunity is quickly closing. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I checked out. How could all of this belong to one person? It is safe to assume that the majority of Dooku's fortune came from the many worlds he controlled and exploited, all in the name of his war effort. That's what corrupt people do. But isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> that is not how we use it. Sir, CT-8801 is not reporting in. <clears throat> CT-8801, report. Are you clear? Negative. We could use that diversion about now. Explosion on deck. Set damage control. What caused the blast? Unknown, Captain. All systems were normal prior to the explosion. Transport three. Secure your cargo and prepare to launch. All squads return to the courtyard. Go like, get this shit out of here. Oh wait. Oh no. Uh, guys, I don't, it took me a second to be like, oh, wait, they're going to get stuck in here. Where are the others? Still in the container. Damn, the ship's taking off. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes, taunt them more, please. <laughs> These aren't stormtroopers. Uh... 
Yeah, what are you doing now? How you get down? You need to get off that ship before it jumps to hyperspace. If we gain access to the ship's main hold, we could commandeer an escape pod. Do it. We'll get to the Marauder and recover you. <sighs> it's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Are you sure this hitch will lead into the ship? If I am incorrect, we will instantly be sucked out and perish. <laughs> I am seldom wrong. I am seldom wrong. Oh, here we are. Oh, that's a secret hole in the floor. Our studies! Containers on class 4 freighters are equipped with re-entry thrusters. We can escape in a cargo container. You are correct. I am impressed. However, <laughs> I am impressed. Man, just so much harder this makes it on themselves, only being able to use stun. I mean, it still takes people out of the fight. But still... <laughs> Going down. That's not good. off really damn that flew by all right man right into the big old swing of the adventure raiding dooku's palace well, not really the we, the palace came a little pre-looted packed up a nice and neat and ready for them to nab in these cargo containers but as the skirmish broke out uh we did get to see the internal the throne room and this secret passageway that Hunter and Wrecker have stumbled upon is an escape route or a possible one. I can't remember where that goes. I know there's like a whole like lair beneath it. Uh, I believe is also part of the the training room where he would train like Asajj and Savage and Avaj, all of the <laughs> everybody down there uh, um, under his tutelage and stuff like that. I think that like is his like Sith quarters, if I remember right. I'm curious to see what all they find down there. In the containers themselves, though, plentiful and bountiful as they were, we didn't get to see too many little relics here and there, mostly just, like, his actual, like, wealth wealth, like his bars of gold and his gemstones and stuff like that. Um, which is, yeah, they, if they make off with any of this, they will be pretty solid and well off. I do like that Echo is kind of making the argument, though, like, you know, we... We could do, do more than just hide. And I know Hunter wants to hide and retreat and try to give a normal life to Omega, to Omega so that she can grow up and just kind of like not have to worry about all of this. This is part of the reason they escape. But then again, they have all these skills, even Omega herself, that they as a unit would be a huge asset to the effort out there against the Empire. And I think that's what Echo is trying to say is that you know, with these resources, hell, with this wealth they can get, they can do more than hide. They can help people. Like, it, it would be an affront to th their mission, their their breed to, like, back down from this fight and run from it. So, like, I get that. And I, I do respect that as well. I respect both sides of it because I definitely do. I can see both sides of this argument. This coin wanted to keep Omega out of this. Give her a normal life where she can grow up, maybe have friends, live, and not have to worry about this constant threat of death or being hunted. But, like, they have the power to do something, you know? And you have that power to do something and you don't do it. I, I feel like you are just as blamed for, for the things that happen that you were you would have been able to prevent. 
I don't know. It's a very Spider-Man-esque thing, you know. But anyway, this was a fun little episode. We ended off with that cliffhanger, and we'll uh, thankfully we can just pop right into episode two. So guys, subscribe if you're not already. Hit that like button if you enjoy the reaction. If you want to see the full length, check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel edges, Benny Share, Ryan Karen, Philly Vane, York, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McGann, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake and Trell, and Amy Becca. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in episode two. May the force be with you always. Take care, everybody.